Yo, what's going on guys? So um, quick, quick little concept. Well, not quick, but I'll try not to ramble on with this video, but quick concept um, that I wanted to talk about that I put up on my story the other day um, is why do you see people deadlifting, specifically deadlifting heavy weight, um, and they may have an arch in their back, they may be flexing their spine somewhat significantly to the eye, right? Um, but they walk away from it fine every time and they never have really any injuries, disc herniations, never chronic pain um, <clears throat> too much, right? So why is this, right? To start, um, the spine has a safe range, right? So there is a range to which the spine can flex and extend fairly safely um, under some type of load if the person is adapted to that load, right? Um, and they won't have any pain or anything like that. So it won't cause any injury when you're putting the spine in those positions and through that range and working it through that range um, because it's a safe range for the spine, right? Some people tweak their back, get injured, have herniations just from lifting small weights and not really controlling their spine, even if their spine's slightly flexed, but it's not crazy flexed, right? Or crazy rounded over. And that brings me to my next point. Um, if you're not building up the muscles around, or if you don't have built up stabilizers around the spine, um, all the muscles around the spine and the vertebrae, right? If you're not building up those muscles, you don't have strength in those muscles, and you don't have strength and ability to really, really consciously use your glutes, your hamstrings, all your abdominal and oblique muscles, um, you're not really gonna be completely bulletproofing your, your, you know, your spine. You're not really gonna be efficiently utilizing your body to lift weight. So if your spine is in a very flexed position, and you're trying to lift a ton of weight and you're not really firing those up and completely using full tension and creating tension with the muscles around the spine, then your spine's gonna take most of the force, right? The structure of the spine is gonna take the force rather than having support for the structure taking the force, right? If that makes sense. Um, so those are two big reasons why someone who's deadlifting crazy weight like that might have a little bit of an arch um, or appear to have an arch and to be in like an unsafe position or an injury prone position and they're walking away fine with no problems at all, right? The third reason also, which um, is to the eye may seem like you're in an extreme flexed position, right? Or an extreme arched position when you're picking up load off the floor is that your upper back is rounding, right? The lower back might be staying in a good neutral position, slightly extended to be able to handle the weight. All the muscles are strong, turned on, glutes and hammies are turned on, but your upper back, your thoracic region of your spine in between your shoulder blades to like your middle of the, the middle of your back um, is very flexed over. That might give the illusion that you're creating a ton of flexion with your upper back or with your total, with, with your entire back, right? Some of the best deadlift, deadlifters in the world, one guy I've shown a lot of people before is Eric Lillibridge. Um, you can check this guy out, look him up, Eric Lillibridge on Instagram. He's pulling, you know, six, seven, eight hundred pounds off the floor, boom, ripping it up, but his upper back is slightly rounded over. And why is that safe? Why is he not getting injured, right? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because he's in a very, very stable position. All the musculature around his spine is supporting his spine. And his upper back is the biggest thing that's flexed. You have a natural kyphotic curve or a curvature to your upper back, and that's safe. That's the safe zone for your back, right? If you're properly engaging your lats, right? Boom, pulling down. If you're completely letting your shoulder blades protract and open, but you're engaging your lats and your abs and everything around it, then your spine is in a safe position. So it goes back to the same concept of, it might seem like you're not in a safe position, but position doesn't necessarily drive injury or um, results or anything like that. Position doesn't really drive that. It's normally how are you using your body in those positions, right? What are you doing in those positions? Okay, there's there's a safe way to go about lifting something with a slightly flexed back, and then there's an unsafe way where you might not be strong enough, you might not have complete use of tension around everything, and you might not have that built up around you, right? Which is where you might get injured. So, um, yeah, a little bit of a long video, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'm not, I'm not a, a freaking doctor, you know, I'm not a doctor, just 
in my training and from what I've seen and from what I've read um, and just experimenting with stuff myself and having back injuries myself, this is the kind of easiest way to put it or the easiest way that I've seen um, and that I've explained it to people to kind of make them understand why certain people can lift weight and not get injured and walk away if they have a completely flexed or rounded over back, right? So there you have it. Um, there are ways to work muscles around the back, like your lower back if you're slightly rounded. There's a, there's a range where you can actually work your lower back muscles if you're deadlifting a ton of weight because your lower back is getting involved significantly regardless if you're pulling weight off the floor, right? You might have lower back soreness the next day, but no pain pain, no like real pain. And that's fine too, because you're utilizing the muscles properly around your back and creating tension. So your spine is still in a safe position in a safe zone, right? So there you have it. Um, let me know if you have any questions once again. Let me know if you watched the whole video and what you think.